Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me over Q4 of the Bi-Weekly Contest 67, Sequentially Ordinal Rank Tracker. So this was my fastest self, uh, so I wouldn't say it's easy, but it is the one that I did the quickest of all my uh, solutions. I've been really sluggish today, a little bit sloppy, I didn't get enough sleep, I mean that's it. But yeah, but hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord and talk with a lot of other smart people who have solved a lot of these problems. So yeah, and share your code, read code, whatever you need to do. But yeah, um, anyway, um, yeah, so the way that I solved this is using one of my fa favorite data structures in Python, at least for competitive programming, at least for lead code anyway, and binarysearch.com is sorted list. And if you don't know about sorted list, do read up on it because this is going to be a little bit sad. It is just five lines of code or six lines of code. Uh, it still took me, even the, I was a little bit slow on this one because uh, even though it took me three minutes, which is fast, I consider it a little bit slow and you could watch me solve it live in the contest next. The reason why I was a little bit slow on this one was because I the two things. One was, I thought it was too straightforward. Um, this is a little bit too easy for Q4, so I kind of doubted myself a little bit. Maybe if I looked at the time when I started, um, I could have figured it out because when I started, I was 18 minutes and people already solved it in like two, three minutes, right? So I could have used that hint and then be more confident about it. And then second is that I still have a typo, which you could see, and I did it, I sorted it in the wrong order. But yeah, but this is just basically a prior in a sorted list. You keep track of the counter, um, you sort this in... Uh, the best score first, and then the, the name second is a tiebreaker, and you just get the position in there. Um, let me know what you think about this one. In C++, there's something called order statistics tree, so look that up. Um, and also in Java, um, let me know what it is in Java. Actually, I don't know what it is in Java. Um, but yeah, so you might wonder, okay, that's great. Sorted list is beautiful. Uh, this is fun. But what if I have an interview, and you can use sorted list or something like that, right? Well, the answer there is... Um, the way that I would think about it, and I actually thought about this a little bit after the contest, after I submitted, because I had no time to think about this before submission, um, because I just thought it was pretty straightforward uh, with respect to sorted list. The way, I think the expected way to solve this is using two heaps. And th this may remind you a little bit of the uh, median, uh, the rolling median or sliding median or some or whatever it is. It is a problem that I is probably on lead code, probably on... Or every site because like um and um and rowing median is something that happens on an interview quite a bit so definitely get yourself familiar with that um and in this case that's basically it you just um what i would do and i don't i didn't i didn't show here what i would do is just have two heaps one you know instead of you know keeping two heaps of um of median uh uh, uh Instead of keeping two heaps of uh, of the same size or roughly the same size, you keep it, you know, the left has to be of size i or uh, of i minus one, depending on how you want to do it. And you just insert it and then self-balance it and so forth. Um, that's pretty much the idea. Uh, yeah. Um, let me know what you think. And yeah, that's pretty much the idea. Um, there's nothing to it. Uh, it's a little bit funky. Um, but... You know, and there, there are a bit of edge cases, but yeah, you can figure it out. Anyway, so yeah, so this operation is log n, and this is log n because that's just how it is defined in the library, and that's why you use the sorted list, is because these operations are log n, otherwise you wouldn't use it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know how you did. Did you do it without sorted list? Did you do any other funky way? Um, let me know. Anyway, you could watch me sub live in the contest next. Okay. <sighs> really uphill battle today, but that's okay. Q4. Already six people got it, and I haven't even started. Okay, let's see. Read, read, read.
I don't get it. Um, I don't know what to expect it answer is. Oh, this is definitely wrong because I output it the thing by accident. The score. So it seems like I'm just wrong. Uh, maybe I misread the problem. Oh, I did it backwards. Basically, we did lower score, but we actually went to high score. Okay, fine. Maybe this time's out though, because I don't. If this is it, this seems easy, but I don't know. Voice constraints. That is a weird problem. Hey, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord, especially if you like these contest problems. There are a lot of smart people there campaign solutions. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, I'll see you later. Stay good, stay healthy, take a mental health. I'll meet you next problem. Bye-bye.